He's a BSc Honours Graduate in Psychology and he's a Master of Manipulation, but he's also a Master of Mirth. Can he conjure up a top vote tonight from Cow's Isle of Wight? Opportunity knocks for Neil Austin. <laughs> Oh, all right. Thank you very much. I'm a little bit nervous because this is my first time on television, but hopefully it won't affect my performance at all in any way. <laughs> oh, well. Now, the magic I do is a little bit strange. Uh, for instance, this first little trick is a bit weird. Uh, here's a quick impression of a skinhead magician making a piece of rope have a nosebleed. I also do ordinary tricks as well. For instance, here's a trick with a, a piece of rope, which, as you can see, is uh, about the same length as my leg. I have another piece of rope here for this trick, which, as you can see, is uh, about the same length as my arm. And I need a third piece of rope, which... Well, I don't know what that length is. <laughs> <laughs> now, I showed this trick uh, just a few days ago to my mother to ask, out, you know, ask her what she thought of it. <clears throat> and she said to me, Well, Stephen, which is strange, because my name's Neil. <laughs> She said, I reckon if you do that trick where you stretch the three unequal lengths so they all become the same length, then you'll end up with a huge round of applause. So let's see if she's right. Right. Now, the next trick I'm going to do, this is the most dangerous trick in the world, the most dangerous magic trick in the world, catching the bullet in the teeth. Now, 11 magicians have died performing this, <laughs> and another six have had their fillings knocked out. Now, here is the gun with the bullet, and I must have silence now, because here are the teeth. <laughs> now, are you ready? Yes. Here we go. <laughs> Missed. Never mind. <laughs> can't all be winners. Now, we do some weird things. For instance, this is a, a quick impression of uh, Puff the Mag Magic Dragon's deodorant. <laughs> <laughs> and as well as danger, the magician needs to have glamour in his act as well. And this is glamour. Instant glamour. Watch this. Uh, who needs a girl assistant? <laughs> you can combine glamour with magic to produce a real live dove. Uh. <laughs> There's, there's only a few magicians in the world can produce a live dove from their bare hands. Unfortunately, I'm not one of them, but... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> now, somebody suggested to me the other day, as well as doing magic, why don't you try balloon modelling? Modelling balloons? Well, I didn't even know they were in fashion. Um, <laughs> I mean, when was the last time you, say, saw your husband or your boyfriend wearing a balloon? <laughs> well, whilst you're thinking about that... This is a little modelling balloon, which you go like this. <laughs> Fortunately, I have one here I made earlier. <laughs> it's a cute little... Um, as you can, this is a sulphur dioxide molecule. <laughs> and now for the vanishing candle trick. Watch this very, very carefully. We take the candle, the silk handkerchief, we swish it around like they do, like real magicians do. And if you watch very, very carefully, watch the candle, because where it goes to, nobody knows. <laughs> right? <laughs> now, the producer has asked... The producer's asked me that I mustn't use any blue material because this is a family show, which is a bit of a shame because I've got a great trick with this handkerchief here. <laughs> never mind. Instead, I'll show you my very last trick. This is the oldest trick in the world. It goes back to before Roman times. It is, of course, the vanishing bottle of Coca-Cola trick. Now, you have to cover this up <laughs> with a paper bag like this. And if you click your fingers and count to three, it'll vanish. Watch. Click. One, two, three, and it's gone. <laughs> and now... It's back again. <laughs> now, if you really did think that that disappeared, could you come and see me after the show and I'll show you how I juggle water? <laughs> but, if you, but if you don't believe that the bottle really does vanish, well, I just hope you enjoyed the other tricks. Thank you very much. Using 
just 52 playing cards and I need one of these uh, selected. So as I shuffle through, perhaps uh, that gentleman over there could just tell me when to stop. Stop. Just there. Have a look at the card. Don't forget the card. Whatever you do, don't forget that card. Please don't forget the card. <laughs> now, I have here a prediction of the card I think you may have chosen. What's your card? A red card? No. Uh, green? No. <laughs> I think your card was a black card. Was it a low spade? Yes. It was. Was it the three of spades? No. No. What was it? The two of spades. The two. Well, that's no problem. Thank you. <laughs>